last vlogmas of the season. Today is also my love anniversary. Okay, now how do I wrap this? Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogmas is coming to an end. The last vlogmas of the season, the last one. Hello, morning, Merry Christmas. Ten, it's my last, last vlogmas. Is it? Oh my god. It's the last one for this year. I mean, vlogmas last yeah. year. Maybe the new Chinese New Year. Hari Raya. Anyways, guys, it's Christmas for us today. You're watching this tomorrow. We're going to go for breakfast in Jessica's house. Uh, she's invited for breakfast, so let's go. But first, we gotta make that pavilion stop. Remember? Remember we spoke about it? Mommy, come say hello to my vlog. Look at my mommy and her new house. Hello! Mommy, this is the last vlogmas for 2023. Oh. Mm, the last I like the vlog. I watch vlogs a lot. Yeah. Okay, jump. Since he likes to steal my Armani code, I thought of getting him the men's version of Armani code. So the one that I have is actually the ladies version. If you like something a bit more citrusy, you can try the ladies version. This one is a bit more manly but very nice. And also the promotion now, you get like one full bottle with one smaller bottle uh, for 70 which is actually quite cheap like for Armani perfumes. For mommy, I got the Chanel perfume. Um, they packed it up really nicely. I think I'm obsessed with they are wrapping paper, but I've got the shopping bag that we're putting everything inside so they do not guess what I bought. Hello guys, okay, now we're going to do some wrapping. Ha! Unlocking, unlocking new levels of uh, lateness, I see, Ash, yes. Okay, we have a little baby coming today, so I got her the, uh, this electric guitar, let's wrap this. I've already settled my mother, my mother was uh, Ivan's gift. I was thinking, uh, guys, later I want to get ready. Like, because usually when I have house parties, uh, I won't get ready, you know. Like, I will just wear like something and just come and just sit down. But remember, we bought the Dior lipstick, the purple one, the shimmery one. I want to wear that. So I'm thinking we shall wear that today. So I have a very glittery dress later we get ready, okay? Okay, so since it's a child, we will give the child a colorful wrapper. Mother is cooking, guys. She's making chicken curry. Yeah, the pink color. Ah, the pink color. Yeah. Why now? This I feel the cellophane tape, guys. It's not as like strong as those days. Like those days, very sticky. Yeah, I feel like it's not sticking well. It is annoying me slightly. Okay. Got this, then later we label the present. I'm gonna put this here. And then for Kian, for Kian, I have like three books because he asked Sia for books this year. So, got him three books. I have Annie Blyton books. Look at this. Do you know Annie Blyton? Okay, fun fact I'll tell you a story. Annie Blyton, I used to go to a what is this? A musical class? Is that what it's called? Musical class? I used to play piano, like I no no, I used to learn how to play piano in um, Bangsa some time ago. So I used to play piano and I used to learn how to play piano in Yamaha in Bangsa. And uh, my mother because Bangsa last time used to have MPH. I think now they still 
habit so my mom would always say like if i can if i study well so the so the point because i like to read so she would buy me one book every week one and in python book from bangsa uh, just to get me to go for piano classes and i will actually read like the entire book so when i went to mph i saw any python and i'm like oh my god you're still around okay so we have two any python and then i got this really cute christmas peep inside thingy where you sort of open and there's a lot of stuff so it's the cutest thing ever so i got this for kian and wrapping paper guys is so mahal but you know one thing that i've realized that's different this year everywhere there is aesthetic wrappers so you know aesthetic wrappers is like this one like the plain red one and then you have like the colorful one just now i use um usually this kind of plain ones you can get in all like the bougie bougie places but you know even mr diy has it so i think they realize that people want like plain uh plain wrapping papers and also fun fact um 14 years ago today is not only christmas for us today is also my love anniversary 14 years ago on christmas uh is where ivan actually asked me to like be his girlfriend and it was during the same time like i was wrapping presents and we were texting each other um yeah so i was texting him while wrapping presents and he had said like you know i really like you really want you to be my girlfriend would you be my girlfriend blah 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 and i remember dropping everything i ran to my mother and i was like oh my god you want me to be his girlfriend and my mother had a look at it it had a look on her face she was like like seriously okay um now uh there's two couples coming i got these two for the two couples coming they're like such pretty trolls there was actually a nude color but i wasn't too sure if other people like the nude aesthetic as much as i do so i mean generally from my experience people like the colored one so i got this they were actually had blue but no i didn't get the blue okay now how do i wrap this i think i need to dedicate like one wrapper to one row what are you doing why are you taking presents out from the tree okay huh? guys i forgot i actually have this huge paper i think this one will work so yeah and it's really pretty one this one is like 10.90 in driver so you see super aesthetic Okay, I think we will roll this lah, easy. I actually was waiting to go to Ikea to buy wrapping paper. We went out of stock, man. Got one done. I think guys, that's about it. Because, like for the rest of the people coming, I actually bought this. Hey, look at this, how freaking cute these kinds of sets like chocolate sets yeah let's i think we start arranging underneath the tree Go. Already, but I didn't show you the changing process because I didn't think of it. But I did record an Instagram reel. So oh, this is my baju. So pretty again, so pretty. Aka is already here. Look at Aka already here. So cute. Hi. Yeah. 
This one is not so good. Which one? I bought it. Ah, what about it? You also want to see. Let me take it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Special mail from you both of you. Yeah. They say my color. I think I know. Is this a Kindle? I'm very excited. Let's see. It it the packaging is like a Kindle. Guys, no, it's not Kindle. What's Kindle? It doesn't look like that. I think it's a Kindle, guys. Yeah, Do you Kindle. think? No, Kindle is like me. Huh? Is it Kindle? No, Kindle. I think you put Kindle under I mean, me. What is Kindle? Kindle? <laughs> Don't ask what is Kindle. You what know what is Kindle? No, that's Kindle. not Kindle. Hundred percent not Kindle. It's a book reading. Book, book reading is a square. Kindle is a bigger. Kindle is oh, only this big actually. And the, and the packaging is this long. Right? Oh, they're breaking up. Kinder, right? Kinder, Kinder, Kinder. Guys, is it a Kindle, guys? It is that iPad just to read books. Oh. Read it in chair. I don't think it's Kindle. Because Kindle will be the first one. No? Then how are you going to read book in the so small? Yeah, I think it's Kindle. Right. Guys, do you think it's a Kindle? Kindle. Yeah. You know how hard you can paper in my nails? You know I'm struggling? <laughs> then ask for help. No, no, no. Kindle, Kindle, when you open it, not Kindle, what do you mean? Yeah. Huh? Look Another one. Let's see, blue. The one is blue, right? It's asking what is Kindle and it's going to give you Kindle. <laughs> Kindle Let's see, it's, it's a Kindle. It's a Kindle for sure. Huh? It's a Kindle. I told you it's a Kindle. Come on. Ay, ay. Birthday present. This is my birthday present. <laughs> Guys, this is my birthday present. No, this is the perfect time you bought because they do a Kindle free book sale coming on the 27th. You can scan any book and the book is free. No, the one you scan. Yeah. We got our Kindle dark. Then you bought this one. Hmm? Then you bought Then you went. And you want it? It's very small. There's a little bigger one than this. No, I want this size. Uh, but this, uh... this is exactly what I wanted. I don't want a big one. I don't want it to be as big as the iPad. I wanted uh... this is what Tara Michelle has. So she'll read with one hand. So you flip the page like this. Now I can open slowly. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Sunny. It's so pretty. I want this. Behind the scan, the WhatsApp. I want to see it. 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 I'm a cover girl. He bought for you, right? Maybe. Cover girl. Okay, guys, and Christmas has officially come to an end. I mean, Christmas is not coming to an end because, like, technically we will be celebrating for the next few days, but Vlogmas is coming to an end. I know it just sounds though so dramatic, but but it's honestly the truth, you guys. Like I've spent the past 25 days recording everything and interacting with each one of you and being on my laptop editing. The whole process was definitely very different from all my last vlogmas. I've done two vlogmas before, before this, and I think this is by far the most, 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 most worth it and most fruitful vlogmas ever. I think getting a get. Being able to hear from you and your thoughts and what you want to talk about and what you want to hear from me has actually helped a lot in this whole process of vlogging. Like it's interactive because um, in the end of the day, I'm actually just sitting here talking to a camera so I don't hear anyone back. So when you actually comment and share your thoughts, it actually make, makes the whole process worthwhile actually. Like honestly, my skip sleep schedule is, I don't even have a sleep schedule. Everyone has gone to sleep. It's 4.30. 4.30 and I'm just sitting here like, you know, in a zone and sleepy but not too sleepy but just tired. But usually by 5, by 4.20, I'm in heaven. I'm like in my slumberland in heaven. But the thing I've noticed is with the tiredness, I can actually fall asleep anywhere. Like anyway, give me 10 minutes, 10 minutes I can just doze off like that. So, Blackwoods this year has been totally utterly so fruitful um thank you for so thank you thank you for so much no thank you so much for coming along 
um, I think I got so used to the whole schedule of like filming, recording, filming, recording that now I'm honestly like, oh, what do I do with all this free time? But guys, that has actually taught me that it's not impossible to post on YouTube because last year, I, actually I was just talking to my friends earlier when Cha and all came. I was just talking to them and um, I think I got the whole concept of like YouTube wrong. I think I was just overstressing and I've been wanting to just do like more and all that stuff but I end up not doing it at all and that sucks so but it's fine I I, I, I I think I'm a bit more comfortable with the YouTube videos I'm not gonna stress so much because like last time what I mean is like last time when I um, try to vlog like when we I used to vlog in the old house I will try to keep a certain topic center of attention like example a sheen haul or going out to buy our groceries or a dinner date with us you know and so on and so forth but what happens is because my regular life actually 90% of the time involves me being at home filming editing filming editing 90% that is my life and then the occasional going out and then the Thursday meet up with my friends is basically what my life is about so when I used to have this idea of that I have to have one activity to do in the vlog eventually what will happen is i will not have any activity because my life is not actually like fun fun like same as you i'm not going out every day i just yes i go for events but events are also work like when you go there you're expected to learn the product it's not just going and and just sitting and chilling and coming back it's actually more it's more of a seminar <laughs> It's like it's like a seminar. It's like a bougier version of a seminar. So, but this time I learned like even on days that I don't have anything to say or I don't have much going on, just picking up the camera and talking, and sharing my thoughts and just taking you through whatever I do. Basically, what you've seen me do for the past twenty five days is almost the same: the morning coffee, the oats, um, the sandwiches that I eat, uh, the never ending filming editing process. Uh, Spending time with Ivan very less. Actually, that is our regular day basis. Like, him and I don't get a lot of interaction Monday to Friday. It's usually on the weekends that we interact more. My phone battery, my phone battery died, so I'm going to continue doing this on the phone. Um, yeah, so what we're saying is, so, because I had a concept that I had to have, that I had to have a lot, one particular activity, on days that I don't have any activities, I basically don't want to film myself because there's not much, nothing much to do. But what I've learned throughout this vlogmas process is just free myself. I know I preach that a lot, but I think as creators, sometimes we overthink about the value of the content being delivered. Like, I don't want to just sit out and blabber with you and expect you to like the video or go away with something. But the truth is, when it comes to YouTube videos, because YouTube is more like a personal diary, it's like... It's like, come along with me, see how I get things done, see behind the scenes of, um, like, shoot and, and how I create content, and then, like, come hear my thoughts when I'm cooking, or just come see what I'm making and all that stuff. So I think I've learned that in this process of Vlogmas 2023, I've learned that I should just continue to be myself and record that, and I love doing videos, guys. That's, it's something I'm so passionate about. And I was actually talking to Ivan, just detour secret. I was talking to Ivan about how this vlogmas has been so amazing, but it has been so tiring. Like everything has been upside down. I don't know if I if I like enjoyed Christmas one hundred percent because I I am a bit tired. And he was telling like, you know, next year maybe get an editor or get someone to help you. And and the truth is because I truly, truly, truly love making videos i love editing that i i don't see myself giving giving that control up to someone else but we will see we will see in the future we will see how i honestly hope you guys like enjoyed vlogmas i know you did but i just have to say it again like i really really hope you enjoyed vlogmas and whatever that we've done i will continue to vlog on youtube that is for sure moving forward my ideal plan because i did tell you during vlogmas that i want to talk about 2024 and i want to do like planning videos and stuff so you can definitely expect a couple more videos to come before new year 100 percent because 2024 we need to make the year work we need to do a bit of changes here and there that i want to do personally 
so we are going to do that in 2024 coming back to the video schedule ideally i would love if i can stick to a monday wednesday friday upload schedule that means three videos on youtube but um i just want to see how to make it work like i really want to give it like my all my everything i want to give this um yeah and we'll see how also i'm so happy like oh my god look at my kindle it's honestly the cutest thing ever i actually need to set it up so i am going to spend the next couple of minutes setting it up and we will see how it goes guys anyways guys i just wanted to say like thank you so much for watching me and like you guys watching the vlogs regularly i'm a i'm a literal total stranger like a total stranger but you still watch me and um it's crazy it's crazy it's amazing i love every single one of you the ones that regularly comment the silent watchers the people that come and watch that may not like me it's fine i love you all i love you all truly truly from bottom of my Thank you for coming on this journey with me, whether it's with Vogmas or just generally in life. Like, thank you for coming along. Thank you for always being kind. Because I remember I used to see comments like, you know, Ash, remember to rest. Like, um, yeah. Those coming from a total stranger is... It's so heartwarming. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for your constant love. Thank you for your constant support. Uh, see, okay, so this is the 11th generation um, illustrated Kindle. Ah, no wonder the cover is very like kitty, but it's fine. I am a child. Okay, so apparently Malaysia has like a Kindle reader club thingy. So I don't know how that works. Let's set up this device first. So I'm going to download the Kindle app on my phone. We'll take that because apparently if you buy it from this person so the kindle malaysia club the hq is in shah so alam i actually just need to sit down here and figure how to use this anyways guys thank you so much for coming 25 days with me ah, i'm actually so sleepy that i need to sleep it off and then we will talk soon i assure you that this will not be the last video for new year i will definitely do more and yeah thank you guys thank you so much for coming and for the last time this year happy vlogmas day 25 we are finally at the end i love you i love you i love you i'm excited for 2024 to see the year that it has for both of us and love you guys okay i'll see you soon